Inside My Mind, episode 1 million and whatever. The f We're going to watch me versus Cosner at ECT. So up to this point, other than one random time playing a reptile in Pride Combat League, never fought a person who really knew what they were doing with reptiles. The first time I'm finding somebody who knows what they're doing with a reptile. So coming to the set, like I labbed like flaws blocking the, the reptile dash. Flaws block. Because that's the only way you could even punish that. Sh the enhanced version of it at least. And I didn't even do that one time in the whole set because every time the opportunity came up, my brain was just fried. <laughs> it was so fast and so random, you know? In the beginning, I'm kind of just trying to establish some kind of a projectile game just to see how he deals with it. And he was just absolutely immune to being zoned. Like, dude was doing death roll under my projectiles, randomly dashing. Like, it was just like, okay, I can't zone this character. And it took me like literally two games to even figure that out. So like, yeah, right now I'm like, okay, Costner's doing all the options. Like anytime he can do something, he will do it. Yeah, just not having a lot of experience in this matchup was like annoying in itself because I'm like letting a lot of things rock that I could blow up, but I just keep forgetting. I still wasn't even blowing it up at the end. I just started going in towards the end. <laughs> Reptile loud too at that. Uh, this isn't good. But in my head, I'm like, if I get fadeable, I can rob this. So like right here, I'm kind of like, if I can look at it, I'm looking at his health right now. I'm like 75%. I'm like, I could kill him right here. If he doesn't break this, he's going to be like a projectile away. He was smart, but right here, I can still kill him. If I just get any hit in the Fatal Blow, he dies right here. So that's all I'm thinking about is like, can I just land something random like EX Slide? Right here, he could have got EX Slid. Let me go back, bro, because he could have got EX Slid so many times, but my ass wasn't... I was thinking of I was thinking of uh, Kung Lao, but right here, I could have got him because he was like... You know what I'm saying? He's trying to walk back. And then the finally, the time I did it was like the worst time to do it, and he read it, and I'm like, oh my god. I did it after low hat on block. I was so hungry to uh, low slide that I just did that force. Coming into game number two, I'm down 1-0. Um, I'm still trying to jam into my head. Like, I'm still at this point, like, can I really not zone this dude, you know? And then right there, that was like, that was like, like the dagger almost. Like, that's where you have to keep your mental straight right here is I tried to jump over the hat, he aired aired me and then killed me, and I was like, okay, now I'm down 1 0 in a round. Being down 1 0 in a round kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Bro, and then he did that, and then he did that freaking overhead cancel into the, the death roll, and I was like, he can do that? Got smoked by it, bro. I was like, that's broke. And then he was like, he down to the. And then I went for the wrong combo, so I lost Darius. Like, that was the wrong route, because I was like, Ooh, can I fade a blow him? And then I like was like, no, I can't. And then he jumped back again. That was actually like just a really like I pretty much was like this round of uh, this match, let's go to the let's go to game three. So right here, I was like, uh, he came up to me, right? He was like, What are you struggling with? I'm like, I'm struggling with death roll. I was like, I can't zone him because of death roll, and I just don't know the matchup. He was like, Well, you think about switching? He was like, you got a really good Johnny. You should go Johnny. I'm like, he was like, you think about Kung Lao or something? I was like, nah. I was like, that was Reiko. He was like, well, you were doing good when you got in. So I was like, you're right. And then I just started going in. That was pretty much it. I was like, all right, yeah, I'm just going to go in. I'm done zoning. Because I did feel when I got it inside, like up close on Reptile that I can yeah, probably, I can maul. That's an interesting way of coaching. What? Going forward, I was just trying to stay as close as possible, stay within down four range, try to try to get a down four to connect, and then uh, go for a 50-50, like right here, overhead. Grab, like. You just got hit overhead, so now your brain's thinking about blocking high, and you just get grabbed. And then sweep, like block your toes, block your head. 
Like, you better duck. Like, <laughs> yo, that mental stack I got mixed watching my own self. <laughs> block your toes, block your head. You better duck. So now it's 2 1, and I'm like, okay, I feel good. Like, I didn't even care that I was 2 1, and I had to do it two more times. I was like, I can tell that once I get in, he don't, he can't deal with my mix ups. So I was just like, right here, sweep, grab, like, come on, bro, block your toes, and then you block your toes, and then you get scoop. You feel me? Uh, bah, bah, bah. I got Oki off this, what, 4 1? Overhead, he mashed. Crazy man. Out footsie. Oh my. I went for the chip out, but he just got hit, so that was, that was good too. Nah, but good to Costner, though. He, like, I don't. Costner's a cool guy. I don't have much experiences, like, really conversating with him, bro. But for them, our brief interactions, he's a chill dude. And he's an OG, for sure. Like, one of those OG guys. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, and that drop was so huge. That drop was so huge because he got full combo punished and I get Oki off here so I can go overhead low. What do I do? I just go for the meaty because I was scared he was going to do something random. And then I just did EX tactical takedown. And then he flawless blocked and he didn't die. I spent the bar and then he did something random. So right here, I ain't going to lie right here. I was like, bro. I was like, if he doesn't meet me here, I'm just going to throw EX stars. That's all I was thinking. Is if he doesn't meet me right here, I'm throwing EX stars and I win. He doesn't have the health nor the meter to take it, so he better meet me. And I saw that slight hesitation. He dashed forward, dashed back. Look, I'll go right back to it. I saw that slight hesitation. He like dashed forward, dashed back. And I was like, yeah, he's going to run because he's scared of me doing something. Right here. Uh, uh, nope. Fuck all that. <laughs> what did he say right there? I really don't remember. I just fatal blowed him so I can like kind of like get in his head a little bit, but I don't know what he said. Overhead. Oh my god. I, f I fucked up the hit confirm. That was kind of annoying when that happened. And then when he armored there, I was like, bro. I was jumping clean over those hats. That's crazy. Oh my god. Is he dead? No, he, he would have been dead if I went for the optimal, like, stand 3 4 EX. I was just scared of dropping and die. Overhead. I opened the TikTok stream during one of your sets. TikTok? Saying I was washed. And then I got top eight. I'm dead. Jesus. I gotta just go back one more time because it happened so fast. This round was a mall right here. Like right here, I was like, we're just gonna do anything at this point. I was uh, overhead and I saw 39%. I said, give me that 40. And I was like, he has to jump this. He can't just duck it. So if he doesn't, if he tries to duck, he's at least gonna get grabbed anyway. So he has to guess right, like ultra right. Nah, GG is though, Costner. He, he definitely, uh, he made that one kind of, could have been something there. Gave me a little bit of a heart attack there. Keep it a hundred.